Hello and welcome back to Bloomfield, Canada. We uh, picked up a contract this morning, ten grand for a uh, harvesting contract. I've just got the equipment being sent over there now. And we didn't use our harvester because it's a bit too small. It's a pretty big field, so it was worth a little bit of a loss. Um, just to, to get it done a bit better, a bit faster. Bit of an early start, just still a bit dark out there. I'm just trying to think the best way to go about this one without missing any. Might start this way. The chickens have already taken back over our field even though we ploughed it. Cheeky little devils. Trees are just annoying me. Sydney thinking Do we go and buy a second one of these? Because you can link them up on the sides. Like on that. You can put a second and third one on. Um I think we may do that. We may go down the other tractor and grab ourselves a second cedar. So what are we putting in here? We already got canola in because we were going to test that field to see how much more we made than the other one when it's all fertilized. I think we got soybeans just here. Yep, so we got canola and soybeans in. Help me pick. What are we putting in? Uh, we've still got a fair bit of wheat, I think, in our silo. Yep, so maybe we do. Um, I don't know. We can't do potatoes or anything like that yet because we haven't got the equipment for it. We've got canola in. Thinking we do oat, oats or sorghum, I'm thinking. Let's go oats. There you go. It's a pretty. It's a. It's a rather big field, so it's going to be a. Going to be a little while. There we go. We just took our, our sur surface back. I wonder if the crops will actually grow through, or the chickens will take over again. Stay tuned for the next episode to see what happens. All right, let's go and check on this harvester and uh, our truck stuck. Where is it? Don't even know. Ah, oh, there it is. Bit of a wide trailer. Hard entrance to get through that one. When we get a bit of money, we might give this trailer a bit of an upgrade. Wow, the window tint's dark in this thing. Take the window tint off and give the truck a bit of an upgrade. There is um, a couple of different engine packages you can get for this. We are on the right path, so that is all that matters. But yeah, that's what we're doing today. Just we're going to be tidying up. We're going to get our fields seeded and fertilized. We'll pick this contract up. The extra money will help. Oh, I spotted something there under the bridge. So they're going to keep an eye out for um, collectibles. They're hard to see sometimes. Extra couple of thousand dollars. It's going to help us pay for diesel today. No complaints from me. But these fields are pretty good over here. They're nice sizes. I'm not sure what their values are. I'm sure this one's not going to be cheap. 300,000. 102,000. So I think we could probably start looking at, once we've done a, a harvest on our own land, we could start looking at expanding, getting ourselves some more land. Doing a bit here and there, we might do a run around the outskirts just to make sure we don't miss any. Sometimes contracts can be a bit funny, it's got to be dead spot on with the amount you get in, otherwise there's nothing left in the in the budget. 
but it's going to be a good day. The weather looks good. It's not going to be too cold. Um, we got some snow and some cold temperatures coming up December and January. So depending on what we've got to do, we may skip December this year. Um, really, the only thing we've got to look after that's going to need any attention is the chickens. So uh, we'll see how that goes. bit dark I'm just wondering maybe we should speed time up a little bit because it's on 0.5 for some reason I'm not sure we'll get this lined up put cruise control on set and forget and we will speed it up a little bit I pressed the wrong button there get up to like nine o'clock see if we get some sun out Oops. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to run around, do some stuff, get this field harvested, make sure our guys are doing the seed correctly. And we'll get back to you very shortly. Um, not a whole heap happening today, so it's just a matter of getting some loose ends tidied up, getting everything done and tidied and seeded. And then we can move on to uh, reaping what we sow. Just on the last little stretch, hopefully we can get it all in before we run out, or fill up I mean. A pretty decent sized field, it's taken a fair while to get done, but um, maybe there's some excess, we can make a little bit of it, pardon me, you got the hiccups, make a little bit of extra cash. Would be good. I'm getting a bit nervous now, I'm not sure if we're going to make it, this <laughs> is 91%. 92, 93, 92. Yeah, we should be good, it's taken a little while to get past each one. Only five, we're gonna make it, we're fine. I was in the go and then have to empty it again. But I think what we'll do is after this one's done we will uh head over and throw some fertilizer down on our fields. Get them all tidied up, see what's happening over there. Yeah, we're fine. We only got like one percent left, look at that. Wow. Thank goodness.
Where do these have to go to? That is the question. Johnson's Farmer's Market. There we go, we are empty. We can head over to the farmer's market. Should be able to get through over here, I think. We came in through via the top before. Hopefully we can sneak through here. I have to do a little bit of tree bashing to get through but we shouldn't should be able to make it we're gonna find out I'll take that window tin off that is super hard to see well, there's a wall there isn't there well that didn't go to plan Maybe we can't get through here. I hope we can, because I don't want to have to reset the truck, because if I reset the truck, we'll probably lose all the um, stuff inside. Now we're stuck. was a bit of a off-roading mission. Let's see how we go if that was enough to finish the contract and if we made enough to keep any or sell any off. Yep. Made $16,000 on top of that. Cannot complain. We'll get back up to the farm and uh, get into our seeding. See you up there. Hello, hello. We just went down and filled up the uh, beast with fertilizer. So we're going to go and fertilize the couple of fields we've done yesterday that need to be done to keep it up. Um, while I'm here, actually, check the grass because we forgot to roll that. So it's only... We might have to throw, see if we can throw some fertilizer on that. I'm not sure if it works for grass or you have to roll it, but let's see. This thing throws out nice and wide, so... It'll cover it very well. One pass. If it doesn't work, well, we wasted a bit of cash, but need the good grass. There we go, 100%. Wicked. How are we going with our silage? 87%. Getting there. Alright, let's get up to our field. We may need to get ourselves a little little tiny trailer that can go behind the tractors. Um, just to bring up fertilizer and lime so we don't have to keep going back and forth with the equipment. Might make it a bit easier. You know, we're gonna have to get some wheat for the chickens. It's sort of a bit of a waste driving all the way down there with the big um the big truck. So I might jump in here, turn this on, we'll put cruise control on for a second. And we'll have a look what's available. Even if it's just a vehicle we can load into the back of. Um, it's only 460 litres. 430,000 litres. 1,000 litres would be okay. That would be good. Animal transport. <laughs> Capacity 8,000 litres. I'm not sure if that would be too high to 
Four by four. I reckon that's that's a bit of a beast. It's twenty grand. It's got a hitch. I'll put the big one on there. I don't know if it's going to be able to haul eight thousand liters, but that's good for carrying stuff. I mean, we could put big bags on there. Might be able to use the shop's forklift. I don't know. That's not a bad little option. Now, what about trailers? Just something simple. I downloaded some smaller mod trailers the other day because I wanted to do like a an old series. What's that? Three meter. That hold. That hold two thousand. What's that one here? Looked like it was pretty decent. That was it. Sorry about this. Basically the same as what was on the back of that truck, eh? Not sure what that means. That's five grand. That's good for us. There we go, we'll keep this one on, we'll give it a bit, it'll be quick, just get it smashed out. And we might duck down and grab that trailer. That was a good buy, five grand, if it works, it, it should be fine. Um, this thing doesn't take too long, 42 meter spread, it's actually a really, really good one. It's, um, it's a mod I downloaded, it's only six or seven grand, where is it? Um, I might put a list of the mods that I'm using in the um description just there it is there 23 grand ad 7000 does 42 meters 18 kilometers an hour does lime and fertilizer and it takes no power to run it it's just wheel driven so it's, i've never had something that can't run it so uh yeah i'll whack that in there that is by i forgot who that was by then my bad doesn't say Pretty sure it used to say who it was. Who it was by anyway. But that's the one I use. It's my go-to one. It's pretty universal. It's really good for lime. It gets that big throw so you're not going really slow, spending hours doing liming. Yeah. Hopefully if I remember it'll be in the description who it's by and where. Um, I've got the TLX truck. Uh, I think it's one of the TLX tipper trailers, the 82 Studios tipper trailers. Um, yeah, a few little mods that we've got going on in here, but nothing drastic. It's only on Xbox, so. Yeah, we'll get back to you once this is done, and we'll go and um, check on our big field, make sure that's sorted. And I did see a couple of bailing contracts. Might be good for us to make a bit extra cash. I won't make you sit through it all, but um, might do some highlights. One was like 12 grand just to bail and... Uh, wrap some so we'll see how we go Ooh, Turned a bit late on that one <laughs> Into the trees All right, so they should both now be showing fully fertilized Yep, oh, I missed a little bit down the bottom. That's not gonna hurt us and the roller is almost finished over there on our field Wicked Everything's slowly getting getting to plan. It's going to be interesting to see what we get from the uh, the fields that are fully fertilized and looked after compared to when we first started. 
always good comparison just to see the difference it does cost a bit of cash for the fertilizer and the lime and things like that but it, it definitely you definitely get a, a way better uh return we'll put this one over in here actually i think we'll leave it parked here we'll take the green one down to the shop to grab our trailer how are these things going for our food Still got lots, 100% healthy. Looks like they've already, um... They've already reproduced. Not sure why he stopped. These rollers are killer, these are cheap as. You can link as many as you want. On PC, you might be able to link a lot more and control them easier, but um, on Xbox, having these ones like this, it's it's pretty pretty cool. So, let's um, get these down and undone so we can head down and grab our trailer. Crazy how it takes the lime away in some spots, but not all. Will it do the rolling on grass? Nope. Just make sure <laughs> on console, don't detach them. Like, se separately. They are super hard to get back. Some of these fields are pretty good. That's why I'm thinking about doing a few contracts just so we can afford to buy ourselves some more fields, give us more work to do. Keep us all ticking over. Oop. That sign got taken out. So we might throw some um well, actually we don't need to throw any wheat in the back of this new trailer because we've got some in our silo still, I think. Yep, still got 32,000 litres in there, so that'll be enough to keep our chickens going for a while. I don't think we've planted wheat in this next round of fields, so... Yeah, we'll do some work, get some extra cash, buy some more fields and get sort of one of every crop going. What are these worth? 114, 116, 64... Yeah, we could buy a couple of them. It would be good to buy that. These three. I don't know if we need any more grass fields at the moment though. In saying that, those baling contracts are on that, those grass fields. There's a fair few harvesting ones too, so... We can always knock out another one of them just to make some more dollars. Get ourselves some of our own farmland. We own that one there, field 45 as well, so probably should have fertilised that one. The air brakes on this thing just lock up instantly. But the steering's not that great on there, it's a bit not too, not too sharp, but it's very touchy. There you go, looks good behind the John Deere. If we can keep it on two wheels. I think something like this is probably meant more behind like an ATV. Or a UTV. Sort of smaller tractor maybe, one of the old school styles. But if it works, it works. That's the main thing. That's all I'm after. So, Alright, we'll see you back up at the farm. Alrighty, welcome back. I just wanted to... um. Check out, see, alright, this is actually silage now, so where can that go to? We can sell it. Buy a gas plant or the animal dealer. I think the animal dealer is just right across there, isn't it? Maybe we'll get it on the trailer and take it over there to the animal dealer. 
I'm thinking about putting in a couple of greenhouses or something similar just to keep us chugging along. Um, obviously, I can keep doing contracts, but it's not something that the repetitiveness might get a bit boring for everybody. Whoa. He's a stunt tractor. All right, so let's get these loaded up. Probably could have left a little bit of space between those trailers last time. Would have been a bit easier. And um, why is that turned off? Turn it on. Ooh, trailer load. It's a spares. Two spares. Are we going to throw them in our silo or... Um, sell them off later, keep them for total mix ration because I would love to get some land and put some cattle in. But the goal is, uh, yeah, I'd love to try and buy this field here. I don't know, field six and seven. Oh, sunflowers in that one, that's a, that's a bummer. Can't harvest that. So he's probably going to have sunflowers in it too, right? Them. See, we could, yeah, we could do that. We could handle that. Cotton. Um. Too expensive for us. 116 grand. So yeah, I don't know. We're going to be pushing it. It's going to be tight, but we still do have 30,000 liters of wheat. And, um, yeah, we can do more contracts too, so. There's always that. Where is the sell point? For the silage here. New map. Who this? Right there. Couldn't be any simpler. But if I dropped it there, it wouldn't have been the sell point. So, best to check. Oh, come on. This is no good for the trailer. I think we may have enough. One sixty four, and how much was that land? One sixteen? Probably jumping the gun a little bit, but I mean, lock it in, Larry. That's ours. We could. That's that's a pretty decent like piece of land. We've got some good sized fields now, so onwards and upwards. We've got forty-seven grand. If we struggle a little bit, I can do more contracts or sell our wheat. Um, but I wanted to, like, I really want to buy some. Like field 10. Try to jump back and forth. That's 40 grand, right? I don't know if it's still field 10. When you click the button down, it changes just the plot numbers. But 10's a good size. Like that'd be a size you could probably put cattle on or. Like this one here, field 8 and 9. They're just grass fields, which is good. Even nine, like if we bought nine, you could square it off. And this area here, maybe, you could use for animals. Build tens grassy too. Let's just have a look. Comparisons. If we want to put cow plot on there, say we wanted to do. I don't know if they just got more expensive at the moment, but. 
that one? 145, 240, 240. I remember the one that I usually use, but I don't remember spending 240,000 on it. This is a, that's huge. You see, that land looks big, but it's not when you're looking at putting some cattle on it. Hmm, decisions, decisions, because I don't want to, I don't want to tear up a whole new field, obviously. Ooh, that was close. Just, yeah, I suppose we just got to work it out. You know, some of the land around here is um, a bit steep and hillish. Some is nice and flat. This track is going to be trashed if we keep driving like this. But yeah, at least now we've got field seven, that's ours. We can work on getting field six. Uh, maybe we can pick up a contract on it. Field five, I mean, we could always buy field five and like cut it, square it off down here. Maybe put some animals or something over there. Or we could put some animals here where the grass is. Let's have this little patch of grass here. I don't know, decisions, because it's like you want it to work. So that's only 45, but we could probably squeeze a couple of them in here, actually. You'd only need one manure station. I put one there. One there and still have your field. Or one, one after each other. One there. One behind it. Hold 145. 45. Pretty sure I used to have one that held like 200 or 400. That's that big kahuna one. Now we could always make, we could probably make that work like that, but then we lose a lot of fields, you know? So it's hard because I want to expand. I want to put cattle in. I want to, I want to grow the place, but it's like, where do you fit it? I hold 60 and 240. So that'll take up a whole bunch of land that we don't have. We can put it like that. Lose a bit of the field. I don't know. We'll work that part out. Those little house, you can buy those little houses there. There's lots that we can do. But I'm happy with that today. Getting that land, clearing out that silage. Those two bales can stay for now. I'm sure we're going to make more on this field. I would not, wouldn't mind buying ourselves our own baler. Start taking on, you know, we can do some baling contracts with it. Get one of them fast bales. The Vicon Kubota fast bale thingos. Oh yeah, we might just put this one down at the house today actually. Saves walking. That's something we could probably look at getting ourselves a little little vehicle or something just to scoot around the farm and scoot around getting things, but there's I don't know. Get ourselves a pickup that we can put a tray on the back. We'll get a motorbike, ride around back and forth to town, but we can't carry anything on that thing. That thing's a beast, I reckon, but it's yeah, just not really what we need. But once again, thank you for watching. I'm going to come inside and cook myself some dinner and run a nice hot bath. There's no grass in there tonight, so that's good. The weed spray has worked. No spiders, no grass. That mirror window, nice field out there, you betcha. Alrighty, thank you for watching. If you've uh, got this far and haven't yet, please give us a like and we'll see you in the next one.